that's way too hmm. salty. Why are you drinking so much water? <laughs> he ate a ton of salty fries too! Ah, oh, I see! You're mm. thirsty because of all that salt! I'll show you why! Let knowledge click! So, helps your body keep water, move muscles, and send signals! But, we only need about one teaspoon! About five grams of salt! A day! Too much salt makes your blood too salty! Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Warning! Too salty! We need water now! So, the blood needs water to water down all that salt! That's why you feel so thirsty! Your body needs more! And more water! <laughs> Extra water goes to your kidneys to clean it up. But if there's too much salt, hmm. your kidneys have to work super hard. The water fuels your bladder, and you need to pee a lot. But that's not all. Too much salt can also hurt your heart. It makes blood parts tighter. So your heart has to work harder. Later, it can't even make you forget things or have heart problems. Hmm. <laughs> to stay healthy, eat fruits, veggies, drink plenty of water, and just eat a little bit of snacks, like fries! Oh, yeah! That's all for now! Stay tuned for our next exploration! <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ooh, I'm so thirsty! Oh! <laughs> mm. oh. Mm. So salty! Uh. 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 Oh. I'm sorry. Mm. Sea water isn't for drinking, dear. Why is it so salty? Did someone put salt in it? Mm. I'll tell you why. Let knowledge click. Rain water falls to the ground. As it flows, it wears away rocks and soil. Some chemical reactions also happen when rain touches the rocks, creating minerals. These mineral salts then flow into rivers, and from there, they travel all the way to the sea. The salt stays in the sea because the water doesn't flow away. Then the sea water evaporates up into the sky, but the salt stays behind. Little by little, more and more salt is left. And that's why the sea is salty. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> There's another reason the sea also gets salt from underwater volcanoes deep beneath the ocean. There are thousands of volcanoes working under the ocean. When sea water slips through cracks and meets the hot lava, it picks up more salt and minerals, then flows back into the sea. Wow. That's why oh. sea water is too salty to drink. But it still has many other great uses. Hmm. You can swim and play in the sea. Some things in sea water are even good for your skin. P 
people also make salts from sea water. The same kind of salt your mom uses to cook oh. yummy food for you. I got it! Next time, I'll bring fresh water to drink. Mm. Slow down, Lucy. Don't stub your mouth. Oh. You're joking. <laughs> What's happening to me? Your tummy is mad because you didn't chew your food properly. Oh. I'll tell you. Let knowledge clear. Inside your tummy is a special team called the digestive system. When you chew your food well, your speed helps make it soft so it can slide down your throat. Then it goes through a long tube and into your stomach. Your stomach squeezes and adds special juices to break the food down. Next, it moves to the small intestine where the food turns into nutrients. The nutrients travel all around your body to help you grow strong. And if you don't chew well, trouble's coming. If a bite of food is too big and go down without enough chewing, it can get stuck in your throat. Not only that, the big piece is hard to digest. Your stomach gets tired and doesn't make enough juice. So you feel full, sore, or hear funny tummy sounds. As a result, your intestines can get all the nutrients. That means even if you eat a lot, your body still doesn't get strong. you better and stop rushing my food from now on. It wouldn't grow oh. into a tree, oh. Wufu. You want to know why? Let knowledge click! A watermelon seed needs soil, water, and sunlight in order to sprout and grow into a plant. On the other hand, the stomach lacks the conditions needed for a seed to sprout. If the watermelon seed doesn't mm. grow, what will happen to it? <laughs> the substances in your stomach will help push it out within about three days, along with other food. as I want, right? Hmm. One or two seeds won't hurt, but swallowing too many could make you choke or even have stomach ache. When you eat watermelon, make sure to spit out the seeds to stay safe, okay? Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel!